by far the easiest way to get started with a dgraph is a docker compose file you can find this uh, docker compose file in the dgraph documentation under getting started run dgraph docker compose so if you expand this out and you just copy this and paste it into a file either in your project or uh, wherever you would like um, and you can run that I have these ports commented out it's just extra ports could cause an issue you know with a conflict or whatever so um, docker compose has its own internal network where it connects um, the containers that are contained in this docker compose file they have access to one another so uh, we, we really don't need to expose these ports that's what this um, this is doing in this yaml file is exposing this uh, these ports here and we don't need this port however we do need the 8080 port and the 8000 uh, this is the zero uh, component and the server component and the retail component uh, these do need to remain this this zero and the server uh, needs to remain named zero and server because the application refers to these names uh, for service connectability. Uh, Rattel, however, you could change this if you wanted. There's really not a reason to do that, but uh, you could. And also another uh, thing I've changed is the volume name. So I've named it DGraph course um, because DGraph is a little generic. I actually named it after the, the project. Um, so this folder is contained in DGraph course and you can see that here so I named it um, after that. Uh, this will allow me to have multiple instances of DGraph without um, the data being in one database. So we can have different, by spinning up different compose files, we can have different instances. And I'll go over how to do that uh, in just a minute. There may be an issue when you try to spin this up, you may have, have a, a problem with a port. So if you have a port conflict, and the error, unfortunately, is not easy to detect. So if it's not working, try to make sure that your ports are not already taken. So if you have something already running on 8080 or 8000, then you know it's not going to be able to connect to that port. So if you want to change that, you can do that by changing the, you know, the port that maps from your local system. So this is the local side uh, to, to the left of the colon, and this is the container port. So it maps from your local system port, localhost 8081, to the container port 8080. Let's go ahead and um, spin this up, and there's an optional D flag that runs this in a background. So if you go docker compose uh, up and then we can add the optional D flag and what this does is run the containers in the background so you you don't see the output basically it frees your command line but for learning purposes um, and testing purposes it may be beneficial to uh, not run this in the background so you can see what the the output is as the different containers and dgraph gets commands you can see you know that it's actually receiving those commands um, and what have you so let's take the dash d flag off and we're going to run docker compose up and i need to change this back i did not save the file so it, it's still on 8080 so we go over here to um, localhost 8000 in the browser and we have this connected to port 8080. Now if you happen to change your port, um, you need to go here and do localhost and then whatever port uh, you connect it to. So say 8081 for instance. We're on 8080, we're gonna leave it. 